93, so around 90, 91, okay. when I moved to Nairobi Primary. Mm. Um, and I think Nairobi Primary probably now set a foundation for the rest of my life. Because uh, I remember I was uh, put to sit next to a guy called David Kamau. Ah, uh, for real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, you guys have known each other then for long? Yes, and he ended up becoming my best friend for the rest. Like, we literally went to the same schools, were housemates, were each other's best men and everything down the line with <laughs> David. And I remember very clearly what the class teacher said when she was putting me next to him for, this is a new guy, I'm going to put you next to the responsible guy so that he helps you transition. So David was a responsible guy <laughs> in the class. Uh, and What? No, like I just want to slow you down. You guys have been <laughs> yes. friends from that day. Yes, from that day. Literally from that time. Because I think David took his job very That's seriously. 30 years? Yes. <laughs> Until today, what? we're good friends. He's in, he's so in, he left the country, eh? He's out of the country yes. temporarily on an assignment, but okay. yes. But uh, we, we literally went through there. So, yeah. um, you know, David was uh, the kind of person, you know, he was, I think, very clear on life and the principles he was going to follow. He was born again and everything mm. from that that period in time. Uh, but yeah, this time, are you born again? Uh, I think so, because around that time is when I was also now attending church at Nairobi Pentecostal Church, Valley Road, mm. which was also another pivotal whatever. So we had this thing called Vacation Bible School. And of course, now during holidays, uh, we have nothing to do as kids. And Vacation Bible School was a very organized yeah. place to go. And there's programs, there's and it's just free next, food, next and, there's other, and it was walking distance. Yeah. Uh, so surprisingly, I had kind of met David there, but we didn't really know each other until I was taken to Nairobi Primary because mm. his family also went to, to the same church. And so because of my involvement in Vacation Bible School is when I became a Christian. Mm. Uh, and I clearly remember, you know, uh, praying and uh, making that decision to become a Christian, I think at the age of 10. Uh, so that was probably at the tail end of... Uh, of Lovington into Nairobi Primary. I get it. So when I got there and we were put together with David, we already shared a lot of values mm. and a bit of a background of we're going to the same church. And so, yeah, so we instantly like hit it off and became very close friends. I remember in the same clubs, he was a boarder in, uh, we had boarding. Yeah. So he was a boarder and would go home like every weekend. Where, I was a day back. Nairobi school? I can't seem to Nairobi see primary. It's Nairobi just, primary. It's just walking distance from... State from, house. Yeah, it's like opposite the state house field. Oh, that's and the one. I get it. Girls. Where now yeah. all these Igabantu studios and the creative house? Yeah, just now. behind there. Okay, yeah. yes, I, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen right, it. right yeah. next there. So, yeah. It's, so it's no relation to patch. Like, there's, there's no Nairobi school. No, that was the original patch. That was the original Nairobi uh, school. Uh -huh. Then Patch, now the high school, shifted to, 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 Jim, uh, to Waiakiwe, and the primary school was left. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, so, if you but, look but back Patch to the actually history of where Patch actually started, it started there yeah, in oh. Nairobi primary. You learned something at least that, here, that, Yeah, that's part of it. Uh, but that tells you where I went to high school. Ah. Uh, but I know that, <laughs> yes, yeah, that actually, history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I, we went through uh, like the same clubs. Um, I have very fond memories of Nairobi Primary. Uh, so the funny thing today, I mean, WhatsApp groups of St. Michael's, Nairobi Primary, <laughs> and Lovington. What? As an alumni of all those schools. <laughs> and uh, are you at this I'm conversation? I've started two of them, yeah? I've always started. <laughs> hey, you like relationships. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For real. That tells you how much When your uh, group, uh, yeah, group admin. Yeah, group admin. <laughs> <laughs> zero, zero, 001. Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so standard seven, uh, standard eight, I would perform well in school. Mm. In fact, I remember when um, when now we were doing uh, KCPE, uh, the final exam, uh, I think I remember having a discussion with David for, ah, uh, you know, the, the level at which we perform, uh, shooting for Alliance, Mangu and all those, whatever would be, you know, cutting it close. So why don't we just select the schools we know we will definitely get the marks to go into. So we both selected Nairobi school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually we had three marks apart. I think he had 554 to 700, I had 551 or the other way around. I yeah. can't remember who performed better than the other. I think he performed better, I remember yeah. that. And so we ended up getting selected to go to Nairobi school uh, together. I like how, I like how, I mean, in your, rub, in your running of eight, you're, you're, 
you sound like a very disciplined child <laughs> like, you get what i mean yeah, like i'm yeah, actually yeah. like uh-huh. and and i want to just touch on that because mm. me i'm like uh, my philosophy in life is good guys win mm. you get what i mean yes uh, and i really appreciate i really appreciate that i'm a good guy and i mm-hmm. and i and i hold that very proudly now yes and you, you are I'm not the bad boy yeah. you get but at this age that mm. the age that you are you're talking i was a tyrant <laughs> i was like the kid you don't want to have i i think to be very honest it helped having david there because those are the ages where you're getting into teenage you know people are experimenting with a lot of things and mm. stuff but we were both committed to like church programs uh, but i think also just generally very principled people um, and that continues to play out you know down in our lives although at some point we like took different paths mm, mm. Uh, but i remember we had a lot of influence on each other i remember we would visit each other's houses uh, maybe do even sleepovers and yeah. that kind of stuff uh, we were quite involved uh, in in each other's lives so became very good friends his big sisters so he had three older big sisters like i did mm. uh, he didn't have a younger brother so they were four in their family we were five but we had a lot in common in terms of like how our lives ran so mm. i remember we we had a very strong bond just like through all the different brotherhood. positions yeah like a, a serious brotherhood so i i guess you i know, mean I was to the brother- point where you were sitting down to discuss about yes, the university about, let's go together yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah we made a lot of life decisions together i'm sure even when he watches this it a lot will you know run Trigger, through yes, his, whatever because yes. because we we even have like a lot of just stuff that's documented where i would sit down and discuss stuff together and actually document it and we have those notebooks that have that ah, Joram, documentation on, you are you are <laughs> like i know it sounds like a petty thing that i'm yeah. i'm, I'm, I'm like i'm trying to figure out what is it that made you is it god is it because your dad is sounds like he's and i'm not trying mm. to put um, but he sounds yeah, like yeah. he's 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 making sure there's bread food on the table yes 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 in fact his level of travel when he moved to nairobi increased significantly now it stopped being local and it became international so oh. my dad was one of those guys when the president goes somewhere to strike those economic deals he's out. the guys who are hacking stuff in the back end and presenting it to the president to do it uh, yeah, yeah. so uh, he was always traveling wherever the president would be he would be so um a lot of the memories at that time is that he was actually out of the country mm. um uh, being in treasury in the ministry of planning <laughs> you know he grew until he was like the deputy chief economist of you know gava mm. uh and the chief economist at the time was uh a father of somebody we both know david kuria oh <laughs> for real who now i met in high school and we became friends you that's another guy who, like who a class been... ahead of me but he was also in nairobi primary at some point yeah david kuria has yeah. actually also been on this seat so yes yeah. Yeah, yeah actually it's very interesting most of the people who've been on this seat <laughs> you know the <laughs> my life yes mother the drama queen has mentioned and, and i'm sure you <laughs> everyone solomon yes Sam yes <laughs> <laughs> what susan kibukos yeah almost oh, everyone man, who's been yeah. on this actually, seat actually yes 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 my <laughs> life has crossed with them one you, point or another sauti soul how, have an interesting how did i forget even to mention that in your that. intro yes. like you're right a lot of the people who have <laughs> sat on this seat yeah. uh, creative entrepreneur you, you exactly julian <laughs> juliani <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this so, but but let's go back to this yeah, period of time. Yeah, I'm yeah. really I I I can't seem to find in my in hearing your story, I can't seem to find another reason why you didn't go off the rails and, yeah. and unless it's God or or, so, or this David guy. So, but well. what happened also uh, is that in the back end of school uh was was Nairobi Pentecostal Church. Uh because right from vacation bible school now to the teens church mm. uh we were very involved as leaders of the activities that would happen in church uh-huh. uh so all the way yes uh, and it was together with david kamau and then a lot of other friends like from nairobi school and then just people we would meet in church we formed very strong bonds as as the people there so i think that involvement would have like fellowship on saturday um you know there are so many things that would happen around those church circles uh, later yeah. on when we went to high school there was the the teens retreat that so, would happen we were we were okay, part of yes. organizing all those things this this is like begin to and actually so, first and foremost from david kamau i met him the first time i ever met him it was through nairobi pentecostal church yes, he was a chairman there and he was point. taking me to 
for a t- school trip to go and rap. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which I which was mind blowing for yes, me. Yes. Yes. So, but what I'm hearing, you even before high school, you are spending a lot of time in this institution yes. known as Nairobi Pentecostal yes. Church. Yes. 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 Okay. And and yes, yeah, so they had a very organized like youth ministry. Mm-hmm. Um, and they had very organized activities around that. Mm. So we spent a lot of time um, organizing those different things that would happen then. Mm-hmm. Um, I really do have to give credit to a lot of the pastors, the youth pastors that took us through those days. Was because there? I felt, yeah, Kuchio was on the tail end. There was Pastor Patrick, there was Pastor Fred Kilonzo mm-hmm. earlier. And these were pastors who really gave us a free hand, like when it came to leadership, they would let us do everything. Uh, Whether it was organizing the concerts, whether it was like they would just give us a free hand for Mm. you guys, just, you know, do your thing. They organize, they go and fight for the budget and all those sorts of things. So Mm. those, I think when I look back to my leadership journey, I think a lot of it started then because from a very early age, Mm. we would then be put on stage or, you know, be given responsibilities to organize different things here and there. So that kept us very, very busy. Okay. In fact, the interesting thing is my family is not Pentecostal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My family is Quaker. What's Quaker? Quaker is the, um, it's a, it's a sect in Christianity. And in Kenya, most of Quakers are actually lawyers. Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah, mm. so their headquarters is on Gong Road, just next to Ola. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of the earlier years... That's the first time I've heard of that denomination. Yeah, it's very big. It, it is. has it? millions of followers. When you go to Western, if you look at Friends, Kamusinga, so they call themselves a Friends Church. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's the... The denomination and it's quite big in western okay so if you look give at me, most of the give me one sec yeah. give me just give me one sec <laughs> 